If I think about what happened at the time of the murder, these do have a common link. These fine blood stains spatter in Rosalia's clothing. This hemorrhaging was most likely caused by... That's right. There was a defensive wound on Rosalia's palm. The killer turned his gun on this girl and pulled the trigger. That bullet tore through the hand she held up, ineffectually trying to ward off the blow. It then continued into her body, piercing her heart. <sighs> the fine blood stains were from the blood that came from her hand. The events of Rosalia's death are becoming clear. First, the cause of death. The wound that killed Rosalia was... Right. The bullet that went through her chest struck her heart, ending her life. Now, what direction did that fatal shot come from? Indeed. The entrance and exit wounds tell us the path of the bullet through her body. Rosalia was alive just before this shot as well. The evidence for this is... Concentrate. Yes, the wound on her palm is a defensive one, caused by her trying to protect herself from the gunshot. Her right hand also has another piece of important evidence. That is... Indeed, the gunshot residue from the shot that killed her. Gunshot residue was left behind when... Yes, gunshot residue is found on targets that have been shot at close range. We can tell that Rosalia had been shot in the chest from a short distance away. Ugh. What would drive someone to be so determined to kill Rosalia?
Is this a voice recorder? I wonder if there's anything recorded on it. It seems to be broken. I hope the data inside can be retrieved. It's a bullet case. What's it doing in a place like this? There's a lot you can learn from the bullet case. I'd better have this analyzed. The glass in the door is shattered. Hmm? This is a blood stain. Could this be related to the case? I should get this analyzed at once. Judging by the accumulation of dust, it doesn't look like this was shattered recently. This might not necessarily relate to this case, but it should be looked at, just to be sure. blood. There's a trail of it, too. These weren't cleaned up. Could this mean these blood stains were from when the incident occurred? Is this blood Rosalie's? Or... Is this a bullet case? Not a standard piece of lab equipment. If I have this analyzed, I might learn some more details about it. Hey, little guy. I found a blood stain on the floor here. A blood stain? Isn't it just another one left by Rosalia? Hmm. Making assumptions is a dangerous habit. I need you to go over this in detail. Got it. I'll have to receive the data from the helicopter's equipment and merge it with what we have here. Then I'll have to use that to come up with analysis results. Is that okay? Will it take time? We're racing against the clock as it is. Yes, but I'll try to hurry it along. There are more and more patients piling up here. All right, contact me when the results come in. Hey, little guy, do you think this can be repaired? Oh, this is one old recorder. I know, I want to see what's in this. Yikes, this can't be fixed. Not even I could do it. Hmm, I see. That's unfortunate. Hey, wait a second. I can't fix the machine itself. 
but I might be able to get at whatever date has been saved on it. That would be great. Can you get on that? Okay. Can you connect the recorder to the computer over on your end? All right. One second. There. What's next? You don't have to do anything else. I'm going to try taking a look at the data from here. You can do that remotely? What an age we live in. Really? It's not that difficult. Don't you know how to use a computer? Zip it. Just hurry up and start looking already. Don't get mad. You should be thanking me for this. What was that? Uh, nothing. I I'm on it. And? Huh. Looks like most of the data has been corrupted. Wait. This file might still be intact. We can play this one as is. Hmm. All right. Transfer it over here. Right away. You're going to listen to it on your own machine, right? I'll name the file Record 01 and send it over to you. Good. I'll try listening to it. Does the rest of the data look like it can be repaired? Hmm. I can't really say for sure myself. I'll talk to the lab techs about it. If the files can be reconstructed, I'll send the data over to you. All right. I'll be looking forward to hearing some good news from you. Little guy, can I borrow you for a moment? Of course. Do you need something analyzed? I found this bullet casing near the entrance to the room. Hmm. All right, let me take a look at it. How does it look? Can you tell me anything from it? Uh, it's a 9mm round, usually used in handguns all over the world. Okay, I get it. It's not all that special. Pretty much, yes. I'll let you know if I find out anything else about it. Yes, please do. blood stain that was on the floor? Great. What were the results? Was that Rosalia's blood after all? Actually, about that, it didn't match her DNA. Huh. Then who's... That blood was Albert Sartre's. What? It's Albert's blood? There's no mistake. I compared it with the DNA we examined before. Then, does that mean Albert was also injured, like Rosalia? Considering that Rosalia had been shot... Was he also shot? Dr. Kimishima, 
We don't know if that's the case yet. We can't know until we investigate this. This bloodstain. It'd be best if I looked into it for more details. Hey, little guy, I want to know more about this bullet casing. Okay. Let's see here. Well, what can you tell me? First of all, it's a case for a 9mm round. Bullets that size are normally used in handguns. Huh. So it's not something rare that could be a big clue for us. Unfortunately, that's correct. But why was a bullet casing on the floor inside a lab? That question might lead us to some important information. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, I found out something new. Hmm? Great. What is it? Well, the bullet cases that you found under the desk and at the entryway, they both have a characteristic abrasion in the same area on their sides. A characteristic abrasion? Yes, likely formed when the empty casing is ejected from the chamber after firing. It was ejected? Are you saying the gun was an automatic? Well, the evidence suggests the use of a semi-automatic pistol, not a revolver. Hmm. So, a casing is ejected after every round fired? Yes, that would be the case. That would mean that the place is where we found those shell casings. Yes. It means that the gun was fired near those places. Bye.